What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here with another box of nickels. This is box number 19, episode number 16 of the Nickel Hunt and Fill. Let's open up the box, see what we got. We are searching for buffaloes, silver, oldies, 2009, any low mintage, anything to fill or upgrade our album. So again, let's get this started. I'll let you know when I find something. And the last thing I did want to say though, uh, the box is circulated, but this is an older box. Got this box about 10 months ago in April of 2023. Guys, I am on my first roll. And I believe this was already reverse facing. It's a 1955. And it was in beat up shape. But look at that. There is no mint mark. Meaning that it is a Philadelphia. And I'll put it right under the scope to double check. As you can see, there is no mint mark. Or is there? Kind of looks like a D, right? <sighs> I got very excited for this. Only to be a Denver. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to deem it a Denver. Because I do see a little bit of, you know, a little circle here. <sighs> I was excited, though. First roll. Probably only about 15 coins in. False alarm. Well... After that disappointing 1955 Denver, we got a 2009 Denver to kind of be on the up and up of things. First low mintage year of the hunt so far, 2009 Denver. And later down the same roll, we're also going to have a 1959 with a Denver mint mark. Oh my god, oh my gosh. I flipped it over already. Where'd it go? Went right over here. It is a 1939 Jefferson Nickel. So one of the beginning years, the second year of the Jefferson Nickel. But I saw that mint mark. And initially I thought it was a D. But you can clearly now see that it is an S mint mark. I'll put it right under the scope for you. It's an S with the date of 1939 holy cow guys we got ourselves a rare date a key date into our nickel album i was not expecting to find this especially since this box has been laying around for the last 10 months holy moly guys 6.6 .6 million of these coins were minted in 1939 though they are rare this nickel is worth roughly about $2, which is pretty good for its condition. So a pretty good premium, about 40 times its worth, but it will be the first 1939 San Francisco in our albums. A very good find early on into this box. Let's hope the luck continues and pull more coins. We're about 10 rolls in and we got ourselves another 1955 with a clear Denver mark. Same roll, and we got ourselves another oldie, this time in 1957, Denver. The next roll, and we got ourselves another oldie. Last year, the oldies in 1959, Denver. In addition, we're also going to pull a 1958, Denver as well. 15 rolls in, and we got our first Canadian coin. It is a Canadian nickel from the year 1976. Roll number 18 is going to give us another 1939, and I'm still shook about the last one we pulled. This one is just going to be a Philadelphia. Roll number 24 is going to have our third 1939. Another one. Let's see if it has a mint mark. No trifecta yet. Another Philadelphia, but always a good find. And it just so happened that the coin next to it was also an oldie. This time it is a 1952 Philly. Roll number 26, and we got ourselves another 1959 Denver. Well, guys, it looks like we're going to get our first foreign of the hunt. Let me just set that down, and let's see what we got. We got a coin here that I cannot read, and it's because it is from Kuwait. So we have a Kuwait coin. Looks 
just all foreign to me, so I'll do some research and get back with you guys later about what type of coin it is. In addition to the coin from Kuwait, we got a 1941 Denver. And it is a Den... Oh, it's a San Francisco. And we needed that for our album. We do still need that for our album. Wow, guys. Two fills in one box. Box number 19... On the next roll, we do have another oldie. It's going to be hiding behind a few other coins. It's a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number 30, and we have another 1958 oldie. It's a Denver Minted. Same roll, and we have another 1952 Philadelphia. Looks like we'll have another last year of the oldies. We got ourselves a 1959 Philadelphia. Roll number 33, and we got ourselves another 1941 Philadelphia. Getting to the last row of the box, and we got ourselves another oldie, a 1949 Denver. Roll number 41, and we got ourselves an older looking Denver Mint, 1949. Roll number 42, and we got ourselves another 1949 Philadelphia. Looks like we got ourselves another 1946 Philadelphia. Roll 45, and we're going to get ourselves another 2009. This time, it is a Philadelphia. Roll 46, and we're going to have a Canadian Ender. And it's going to be from the year... 1999. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. There we go. Same roll, and we're going to get an oldie. Another 1957 Denver. Roll number 46, and it looks like we got ourselves another oldie. And we do. It's a 1952. Let's look at the rest of this roll, and nothing else is really sticking out. Except for this 19. 59 Denver. Well, looks like we'll have another unusual foreign coin. Let's lay down this roll. This is the second to last roll of the hunt. And see if we can identify what it is. And just by that, again, it's in a language that I'm unsure of. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some more research, but it's an older coin, 1965. And like that, that was the last roll. Let me get these coins all sorted, and I'll let you know exactly what I got. But we did get a lot more than I initially thought we would. And the worst part is that we've been holding this box for about 10 months. So let's again get this all sorted, and I'll go through exactly what I found. Overall, guys, we got a lot of coins that we have put aside. Now, we do have some potential upgrades and if they're not upgrades they'll go into our archive collection we also did find this red white and blue i just put it aside i just like the colors on it we got 2009 philadelphia and denver so two 2009s we got two canadians a 1976 and a 1999 a kuwait coin it's a couple fills as well as a yugoslavian 10 para coin from 1965 we got two 1939 Philadelphias, seven 1940s, ranging from 1941, including a 1941 San Francisco, to 1949, as well as 14 Jefferson Nichols from the 1950s, ranging from 1952 to 1959. But our best find is our third 1939 that we found with the San Francisco Mint Mark, a $2 coin to add to the Hunt and Fill albums. And I can't wait to add it. So let's go to the books to see what we can fill as well as upgrade. All right, guys. So the books have been updated. We're only going to be making additions to volume number one and volume number two, not number three, which is 1996 through present day. But the first album, we're going to have two fills, which is pretty rare because we are on the 16th episode, 19th box of the hunt. But... Two more fills, and they are good. The first one is a 1939 San Francisco. And again, I just want to show you this coin. Look at that S mint mark, as well as that year. Pretty good find. 
the beginning of this box, as well as we were missing the 1941 San Francisco, so that'll be a great addition as well. So let me just put these in the holes and then move on to the upgrades in volume number two. There we go. Oh, yes. Perfect. And the next album is volume number two, where we will have three upgrades. We'll be upgrading the 1968 San Francisco, 1969 Denver, as well as the 1976 Philadelphia. So just some common year upgrades. And they are making some great additions into our books. So guys, overall, very good hunt. Two fills. Again, that is rare. We got volume number one, 55 out of 65. So 10 left in that one, as well as two left in volume three, which is our new 2024s. In total, we have 180 out of the 192 coins in the collection. 93.75% done with the collection. Two fills, three upgrades for this episode of the Nickel Hunt and Fill. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely a lot of fun hunting this 10-month-year-old box in my stockpile. Hopefully, we continue the success with the next hunt, and I'll see you then. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, as well as subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching, and happy hunting!